So now we're going to talk about securing your wireless internet connection. The reason you want to do this is basically to make sure that only you or people you authorize can get onto your wireless network. Pretty obvious why you would want to do that. If nothing else, you don't want your neighbors stealing your bandwidth so that they don't have to get their own ISP. Let them pay for their own internet service. So, the way we go about doing this is you'll need to get into your, route, your router's configuration utility. Most, wi most wireless router configuration utilities are browser based. Basically, you go to a specific, you, you type a web address into your browser. And from there, you'll be able to access the settings that you need. So in this case, this is a Linksys by Cisco. Uh, what we'll need to do is go to the Wireless tab. We will want to go to Wireless Security. And here in Wireless Security, you have several options. First one is the Wireless Security Mode. I recommend you use WPA2. Uh, in this one, you actually have a lot of options. You have personal or enterprise. Uh, I would say personal in this case, unless you're setting this up on a corporate level. And if you're setting it up on a corporate level, I don't think you need my help. But anyway, uh, you can use WEP. WEP is a very lower level. It's a much lower level of uh, security. Uh, it's more or less considered outdated now. You can use it if you want, but it's, fairly, it's pretty easy to crack by somebody that knows what they're doing. So I would say stay away from it. WPA is stronger than WEP by a significant margin. Um, it's possible to crack that one too, much less likely though. Uh, I would go with WPA2 because out of, the, out of the, the normal standards for security, it is by far the strongest and hardest to crack. So we're going to just choose WPA2. Once we choose that, we have to choose what type of encryption. Um, I don't think there's a gigantic difference in which one you choose. Uh, I usually prefer to go with the WPA TKIP, but either way, you're still going to get a pretty strong level of security. Then you, or here, you will set the passphrase. Passphrase is um, what allows a machine to access your wireless network. So you'll want to put in a password here. Uh, I recommend you use at least one letter, one number, and maybe throw in a symbol or a capital letter as well. Now, if you use something like WebKey, WebKeys often use uh, what's called hexadecimal, which is basically the numbers 0 through 9 and the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, in this case, since we're not using Web, we don't have to worry about that, and we can make it a passphrase rather than using a bunch of hexadecimal numbers and letters. And in this case, we've got both 5 gigahertz band and 2.4 gigahertz band, which if you watch the other clip that I did about wireless internet cards, those are the two common broadcast bandwidths for wireless internet. So you, in this case, you can actually choose different security settings based on their connection frequency, their bandwidth, which is pretty, uh, it's a pretty powerful setting. Um, once you've set these, you'll come down here, choose Save Settings, and in a lot of cases, you'll need to, the, uh, br the router will prompt you to wait as it restarts, or it may say you'll need to restart the router to save the changes. It's a common thing. It's not true of every single model, but it does happen. So if it does, just go ahead and restart the, restart the unit or wait for it to restart, depending on the, mock, the, the manufacturer. And once that's finished, your wireless internet or your wireless networking connection should be secure.